I'm in the process of doing a diesel purge on this 300 PD wagon, and I've just started it. You can see here the diesel fuel returning from the injection pump is running quite clean, and this here is the diesel purge that's being sucked up and run back into the injection pump. Now I'm going to come back in about 10 minutes and we're going to take another look at this. And if it's not real dirty, then the injection pump may not be the problem. I am using two full bottles of diesel purge and I'm about 15 minutes into the process. You can see I'm a little more than halfway and look at how dirty that fuel is as it cycles back through the injection pump. Every once in a while, I'll race the engine up to a bit, between two and 3,000 RPM just to put a little more pressure on the pump as I'm working that purge through the, the IP. So I've got another 10 or 15 minutes to go here. I'll continue to come back and cycle the engine. And then when I get done with this, I'm going to replace the filter. We'll let the engine run on regular diesel for a short amount of time. And then we'll test the exhaust pipe for smoke. One thing I need to caution you about, while doing the diesel purge, be sure and occasionally check your engine instruments to make sure the engine is not overheating or the oil pressure is dropping down. During the last half of the purge, I set the bottle to make sure that all the fuel goes to where the pickup hose is. You don't want to run this dry and suck a bunch of air in the system. The other thing I do is get a zip tie and hook it to the throttle and to the hard lines on the fuel injectors. And I'm going to let this idle a little faster. I don't want to sit here and have to hold this at a higher idle speed, but I'll just tighten this zip tie up. Just take a look at how clean that fuel is. <laughs> Boy, that is really filthy. And when you pour it out of the filter here, it's no better. There's a lot of junk in this filter. So that pump was very dirty inside, and I suspect the same inside the fuel injectors. Now, there's a couple things when you're doing the purge. Be sure and use this little coupling that I include in the kit. It's a 5 16 inch straight coupling to just hook these two hoses together as soon as you unplug them from the engine because you're going to have purge dripping all over the engine, dripping all over the ground. And by the way, this is a really nasty chemical and I recommend you always wear nitrile gloves, not just regular nitrile gloves, but heavy duty nitrile gloves like you see here. You don't want this stuff getting on your skin, believe me. So I've completed the purge. We went ahead and put the filter on. <laughs> you can see why now you always want to change the filter after doing a diesel purge. All right, now, I'm going to let this run a little while. I want to make sure it's running on diesel, kind of cleaning out the purge, because if you're running it on purge, it's going to run a little bit better than it will on diesel. So to get the test where we want it, I'm going to let it run for about 15 minutes on diesel. Then we'll come back, and I'm going to put the camera on the tailpipe. Let's see if we had any improvement at all. Okay, let's take a look together and see... What's going to come out of the tailpipe now? Wow. I don't
don't think there's any improvement there at all. It's back to work. I'm gonna pull this wagon now into the shop and I'm gonna get ready to go through the next phase of troubleshooting to find out why that smoking so bad down there.